over this place. Because one day the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a voice of an archangel and with the trump of God. And today we're sounding the alarm of heaven. And it's going to sound this way. Hallelujah. to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand because God has created a day where he will judge the world in righteousness and as you heard this song we were speaking and saying it's your name written in the book of life God wants to give the people of Scotland eternal life many of us have life insurances financial insurances but we do not have eternal insurance and that eternal assurance is only found in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Bible says he's the way, the truth, and the life. All other lives, in finances, in sex, in sin, and many other vices that we think this is life, is only life terminal. But in the life of Christ that was revealed by the cross, we can receive the life. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And today we come preaching Jesus. We come lifting up the name that is above every name. The name by which when demons hear they tremble. The very name by which people do not want to hear. The very name that was sent to save humanity. The Bible says whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord, they will be saved. You can call the name of Baha Buddha Krishna Muhammad. But when it comes to eternal life, because they do not have access to that life, they cannot give it. You see, you cannot give what you don't have. And you can have this by being born again. And because it's been given to us by this gift to Jesus Christ, I can also share it. And today I'm not sharing bad news, but good news. This good news is the truth. The Bible says you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. The truth does hurt, it does offend, it does disturb, but it's the truth does not harass. The truth doesn't destroy. The truth does not cause an alarm and distress so you can, you know, release or charge me with social public disorder. But you see, when the truth is revealed, it opens your eyes. You see, many are looking for truth the wrong way, and so they're joining secret societies. Many are looking for power and political seat by selling their soul to the devil. And so we think that when we have the things of this world, our soul can rest. You see, money cannot buy happiness, and it sure can buy eternal life. And so the thing that could buy eternal life was the very thing God gave us. You see, we've studied John 3, 16 religiously. But we have not really got the revelation of John 3.16 that have God so loved the world that he sent Jesus Christ of Nazareth promised by the prophet to Abraham that he knew the seed of God would be revealed and he would save the nation. It says, indeed shall the families of the earth be blessed. And today because of one man's obedience to Abraham and because of one man's obedience to Jesus Christ who is the second Adam, 
we too can become partakers of its divine nature. Today, Scotland is your name written in the book of life. Because if your name is in, not in that book, all I have for you is three words. Repent and believe in the Lord Jesus. Yes. And you shall be saved. You will be saved. Repent. You see, I was once gone ganging with these guys right here. So I found myself in Belmont. And I knew I needed a God. That God could not do me nothing. You see, the leg could not save me. The handcuffs had me all banged up. I probably will be lying on the street bed until I encounter Jesus. Many have encountered buildings, many have encountered religion, but many have not encountered the one true God and His Son whom He has sent, and His Son whom He has sent to shed His blood for the atonement of our sins. There was a man known as John the Baptist. He sees Jesus coming to the river Jordan, who knew no sin but became sin for me and you and the people of Scotland, that the people of Scotland by and believing in Jesus can become the righteousness of God in Christ. And today in Christ we have redemption. In Catholic building, reform building and all kinds of cathedrals, they just are monuments of remembrance of the person those religious figures did serve, like John Knox. They serve the one true Savior. We have the memorials of him. For having memorials of John Knox and missing the essence of his presence and his blessing to the people of Scotland will find ourselves perishing, locked down, sin with a double world national peace, rolling and burning in darkness. I said we give our life to the Lord. The very message that John Knox preach is that the people of Scotland will repent because there is a day that God has appointed that if we don't repent, we will be judged. But you see, I come to give you this admonishment and this warning by the plan the trumpet and when you read us out 58 verse 1 it says lift up your voice like a trumpet tell the people of Scotland their sins their transgressions refer to them so that they will know that they are men that are in sin and if they die in their sins they will not inherit eternal life you see flesh and blood cannot inherit eternal life how can we inherit eternal life by being born again when we're born again, we receive the divine nature of God. If you're an atheist today, if you repent and believe in the gospel, the Bible says, except we be born again, we cannot see the kingdom. And so by being born again and regenerated, and regenerated and receiving the power of grace, we can see God. As much as I was born in the United Kingdom, I'm giving an end a number. But when man is born again, God doesn't give you a number. He gives you his name. He gives you eternal life. He gives you a seat in heaven. By the revelation of a vision, we find ourselves sitting and dining with Christ, reigning with Him, receiving spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Far above principalities and powers. Today I have a question for Scotland. Repent! Because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And except we repent, we'll likewise perish. Repentance is not just standing away from your sins, but it's standing away from your sins and pursuing Jesus. There are kinds of religious repentance you might find in Hinduism, you might find in Buddhism, you might find it in Islam. It's a turning away from sin and following man. But when we talk of the repentance Jesus preached, when he went about Galilee, he says repent and believe in the gospel. Believe in Jesus. Believe in me that I am he. I am he that was prophesied by the prophet. I am he that has come to give life. I am he that was born of the Virgin Mary. I am he. I am he. He said he that believed in him. But now we believe in buildings. We believe in religious culture, religious tradition. And by religious culture and tradition would have made the word of God for non existence. And as a matter of fact, by our translation, we've lost the very essence of the person of Jesus. We celebrate the Christmas and we're missing Jesus. We celebrate the giving of gift, but we're missing the giver of all gifts. We celebrate Easter to the point that we celebrate it religiously, that now it's become a day of giving Easter body eggs. The essence of Christmas was to reveal the power of his resurrection. The essence of Christmas was to fulfill the prophecy in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. That a woman shall be with a child, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, 
God wants to dwell among the people of Scotland. The only way Scotland will be great again, it will not be because it will be independent, but it will be because they turn back to their God. Independence will not give this nation eternal life, nor will it make it great again. Our greatness is tied to a covenant of Abraham. The Bible says he that redeemed us from the curse of the Lord was hanged on the tree that we might be the blessing of Abraham. God speaks to Abraham and says, I'll make you a great nation, and you shall be blessed. And in you, the families of the be blessed. If Scotland will repent for their sins, they will become great again, and they will be a blessing to the nations of the earth. They will be a blessing to Europe. The exemption from running away from the monarchy of the United Kingdom is not what will bless or prosper us. Our prosperity is from above for every good and perfect king. The Bible declares it coming from the Father of Light. Scotland, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And as I release the sound of awakening, now, I'm on limited time, but in this time when I'm releasing this sound, my question to Scotland, are your name in the book of life? Because Jesus is coming again. Yes. And when he's coming, he's coming to judge. Yes. There is an emerging kingdom, and it's not the kingdom of the earth, but it's the kingdom of God. As I come to the end of my message, the A, B, C, D of eternal life. It's not a, 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 the A, B, C, D to a place. Because there are many heavens, but there's only one eternal life. You see, the Muslims have the heavens. The Hindus, the Buddhists, they have a heaven, a place where they think they're going to go when they die. But there is a place, it's not where you go, it's who you will spend eternity with. Because some will find themselves spending eternity with the devil, the father of life. And some will find themselves spending eternity with the heaven, father in heaven. Dining and communing and fellowshipping with the father. With songs and praise and power ordained to rule here on earth. I want you to be among the number. Because oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. All I want. want to be in that number oh when the saints go marching in my question to scotland would you be there because i won't be there would you be there would you be there when we're marching in oh lord i want to be in, in that, that number oh when the saints go, go marching in you see, in heaven there's no nationality, no is there religion. There's not going to be those who are Muslim, Christian, no. Those who are sons of God. You're either a son of God or a son of the devil. Yes, sir. And those whose name are in the book of life are sons of God. Yes, sir. We're sons of God not because of our skin color or the birth of our geographical location. We're not justified <laughs> by the birth of our geographical location or our skin color or the color of our eyes. We're, we're, we're identified to be favored of our God by being born again and receiving his divine nature and being a partaker of his wealth and being co heads with him. Amen. Repent! Amen. Repent from your hatred. Repent from your oppression. Repent from your lies, your extortion. Repent from your religious hypocrisy. Repent, repent, repent from your immorality. Repent from your homosexuality and your experience. The Lord is saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, Scotland, for this is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. As I blow the stroke, I want you to remember the Lord is coming again with three trunks. With the trump of God, the dead in Christ will be stuck. With the great trump, the Bible says that we will see him with clouds of glory. And all eyes will see him. That day if you are an atheist, by the blast of the great trump, your eyes will be open to see the true God. Okay. The one okay. God, the okay. one true God and his son whom he has sent. And by the last trump, the Bible says we shall all be seen change. Our bodies will be transformed. You will either receive an incorruptible body to dwell in hell, or receive an incorruptible body to be with the Lord Jesus. And today I end my message with the blast of the shofar. I say, Scotland, repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah.
heaviness of hand, and it won't be called the United Kingdom, but the kingdom of our great God will die for your sins. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Go ahead, bro. Amen. No, nah, it's all good. He's not going to use a mic. Go ahead, brother. Step right up.